Welcome to Fabulous Lake Tahoe, your local's guide to the very best of America's year-round playground. I'm Jack Durst, and I'm here at the Tahoe Keys Marina for the fifth annual South Lake Tahoe Wooden Boat Classic. This is the fifth time that South Lake Tahoe has done what is rapidly becoming a annual tradition here in Tahoe, the Wooden Boat Show. From the 1920s to the 1970s, it was very popular to make speed boats out of wood. And now the, the technology has kind of gone out of style, we are having a nostalgia for it again. This is the hot August nights of boats. It's kind of an expensive ticket. It's a $20 ticket and I wouldn't usually go cover the wooden boat show, but I got such a strong response out of my Google Plus audience that I thought I would come out and cover it for y'all. Hi, I'm John Walty with the California Speedboat Association. I'm the Vice Commodore this year. We're here this year at the Tahoe ACBS Classic and Antique Boat Show. And California Speedboat is part of the show this year for the second time. We have brought our race boats and for display. This right here is the trophy that was created the same year the club was organized in 1934. It's the Dr. Barron Trophy. This was given every year at the annual regatta at Lake Merritt. Racing ceased uh, on Lake Merritt in about 1987 or thereabouts, but we've got every winner on this trophy from 1934 on. Uh, some notables are Dan Arena, Danny Foster, they were club members. Uh, their sons are here at the show. Um, our club was incorporated in 1936, having been formed first in 1934. Of note, uh, Henry and Edgar Kaiser were members. Lou Fangio of uh, the bus line, uh, twin coach, was a member. Uh, Stan Sayers was a member. Uh, the Murphys were a member, industrialists in San Francisco Bay Area. Quite a rich history to our club that began in 1934, and we're just out here to share it with everybody. is Ed Scott and my wife and I Deborah own Baby Skip Along which is a 1924 Gold Cup racer. It actually won the Gold Cup in 1926 and 27. Uh, the boat was then moved up here uh, in 1929 by my great uncle who sold it to Stan Dollar uh, and he raced it at Tahoe and it's one of the winniest race boats on Tahoe. The trophy that I have here is from the 1930s and it's the uh, Tahoe uh, Power Boat Club Annual Championship Trophy that has 19 from 1931 all the way through 1940 of which Baby Skip Long won four of the races and the Dollars won two more in addition to that. Um, Baby Skip Along is uh, in the show. Uh, we're happy to have it. It has a 621 Packard engine in it and uh, we hope that everybody will enjoy, uh, enjoy seeing this boat plus all the other wonderful boats up here. Hi, I'm Gary Jesh here at the Tahoe Boat Show, sitting alongside the Thunderbird, beautiful yacht owned by George Wattell Jr. And I'm here on behalf of the Thunderbird Preservation Society. We're uh, enjoying a great afternoon with a lot of interesting people coming by. You know, this boat has been on Lake Tahoe for 70 years now, 72 years. It was actually launched in 1940 by George Wattell Jr. himself and uh, it's a special thing for me today because um, in 1962 my dad Ray Jesh was working for Bill Hara and Bill Hara bought this boat from Wattell and restored it so my brothers and I were up at the Thunderbird Lodge for five summers in a row and that's what we were doing is uh, getting this boat restored and ready and look at the beautiful condition that it's in here that was this, our skipper, Dave Marion, who just walked by. So today, this morning, for the first time in 37 years, I got a chance to ride this boat once again. And it was just incredible. I can't tell you how beautiful it was. The memories of those years ago, plus the new ones that I made today, coming all the way from 
Thunderbird Lodge down by Sand Harbor down here to South Shore. Um, at 20 knots, it was just a great morning and I know I'll never forget it. Really enjoyed it. So uh, glad to see all you folks here checking us out and be sure to look us up at uh, Thunderbird Lodge. Hi, my name's Scott Quartz. I'm with the California Speedboat Association, and I'm here at the ACBS uh, Antique and Classic Wooden Boat Show in Tahoe, California. And uh, I brought my boat here today, a replica of a 1938 Ventnor Gold Cup boat. I had an idea a long while ago to bring forward one of these designs and uh, enjoy it on the water and started looking and just couldn't find them. They're just not around. So. I worked with a boat builder uh, on the East Coast and uh, a bunch of other very talented individuals and put this boat together that we debuted this year. A good friend of mine, Michael Johnson of uh, the California Speedboat Association, and I worked uh, very aggressively over the last several months to bring it all together so that we could show it and uh, demonstrate it today at Tahoe. The uh, boat was originally made, as they say, in 1938. It followed on a design that was conceived in 37 and built for the Chinese. These boats were designed to carry a 500 pound bomb in the bow and as a consequence of all that weight in the bow of the boat it would wallow in the corners. So the engineers at Ventnor decided to put these things called sponsons on the front. The sponsons served to lift the boat to stabilize it and in doing so not only did it stabilize the boat but it reduced the wetted surface area and the boat uh, took right off. It, it went upwards to 85 miles an hour. So after 12 of the 13 boats were shipped, one was left uh, back at the factory and a gentleman by the name of Rutherford discovered it, went on to race it uh, with wild uh, success. Zalman Simmons decided that he wanted a boat like that and he had uh, a boat like this, a full-size version, mine's a roughly 80% scale built and uh, that boat went on in 38 I believe no 39 to win the uh, gold cup it was powered with a v16 Allison and was wildly fast and so this boat here uh, take off of those uh, like say an 80 scale percent scale uh, has a 502 Chevy about a 530 horsepower and it'll probably run in that same 70 to 80 mile an hour range and uh, we're looking forward to working the tweaks out and enjoying it here at Tahoe a little later this week. John with CSA again. This is another one of our famous boats. This is the K9, a better idea. It's a racing craft. It was designed and built by Rudy Ramos, the famous boat designer and builder of the 50s and 60s. Rudy uh, was famous for building the ski model racing runabouts, also known as SK racing runabouts. This was a marathon boat. It was uh, called a better idea because he introduced a, a V bottom to this, which helped it plow through the rougher water much better. He also uh, devised the wind deflector, which is helps the guy you know, at 120 miles an hour not have all that be buffeted by wind the entire race. So it's quite famous. It, it, its first race ever, it won the Orange Bowl Regatta. Uh, it's won the Salton Sea Marathon races, uh, Clear Lake, Berryessa, quite famous marathon boat. As you can see, it's uh, supercharged, and this is now known as a K Racing Runabout. But today, K racing runabouts are largely flat bottom designs, and since this is a V, they call it KM for K Marathon Boat. And still today, you can see K Marathons, also known as Grand Nationals or GNs, racing at Parker, Arizona. Pretty spectacular class. You can do some searching on Grand National, you can see some wild racing. But this is a racing craft, and it's a quite famous boat.
Okay, hi, I'm Steve Wilkie, and my wife and I, Kelly, own this boat. It's called Shanty 2. It was built in 1958 by Bill Wagner, who was a famous owner of race boats back in the day. And um, we found it underneath a tree and uh, have become this, we saved the boat. And so it's famous because it was never famous. It never won a race. It never was even in a race. It was an unsuccessful attempt at a new idea. And it uh, cost them a lot of money to figure it out, but um, it never raced. So now it's just a showboat. Hi, uh, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm the uh, owner and builder of the B-52 Stingery. It's a reproduction of a uh, bee racing runabout from the early 50s through uh, 71, 72. They were a hotly contested uh, uh, monohull class. Um, high performance engines, they uh, were allowed to uh, hop them up quite a bit. And uh, this is one of the only um, uh, representatives of that class. There's only one other boat in the area that's left uh, that represents the class. That's uh, Little B, uh, national record holder and so on. It's a great little boat. But um, it's not able to get out and about so I thought I'd do a reproduction and uh, at least uh, show people, you know, that uh, what the boat was about and how it, uh, how big it is and how it's constructed. And uh, it's been getting good reviews, so a lot of people really uh, enjoy it. The uh, young people, especially uh, teenagers and so on, they oh, they just love it, you know. But uh, it's a real fun boat to drive. It gets pretty busy after 60 miles an hour, and I'm definitely getting uh, older and uh, need a younger driver uh, to drive it and really uh, let it uh, run. But uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun at 60. But uh, it took me a little over a year to build it, a lot of leftover racing parts and stuff, and it's a scratch build, trailer, boat, everything. So uh, I've been uh, busy with that, and I have some future projects that are uh, scheduled uh, to, uh, uh, for the next year. I'm going to do a, um, a Pacific One design, it's called, and it's a two-seat, 14-foot uh, runabout with a flathead V860, and it was a racing class, uh, beginning racing class in 1950s. And uh, again, uh, the plans for that boat are available uh, at uh, Speed and Spray magazine. It's an old, uh, you can find it on YouTube or uh, in, uh, on the internet. And uh, they still offer the original plans. And uh, Pacific One, it's a one design, is what that stands for. And you had to meet all the uh, hull specifications. And uh, it's a stepped mono hull. But uh, that's only a 50, 60 mile an hour boat. And uh, it's plenty safe for us old guys. And uh, it's a real pretty boat too, and all mahogany. But um, right now it's fun showing this boat. and. Uh, and getting around getting a lot of response from the young people. Hi, I'm Jonelle Bright with the Tahoe Resource Conservation District. We're here with the Watercraft Inspection Program at the Wooden Boat Classic here in the Tahoe Keys. I'm out here trying to educate boaters about the importance of being clean, drain, and dry to help prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species such as this guy right here, which is the quagga mussel. Classic boats do have some special challenges as the wooden uh, boats typically have water within them all times because they need that water to float. Uh, so making sure that you're using hose water to, to keep them clean and making sure that you can dry all other areas prior to launching in new, air, in new water bodies is gonna be the best way to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species. So stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe. There's going to be a concert report on the first of the month. There's going to be a video of the Tahoe Show bodybuilding competition a little bit later on the month and much, much more. So stay tuned to Fabulous Lake Tahoe.
Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you and keep Tahoe blue. Bye.